part two. Right, here we go, my little Gartmore chums, my little Gartmore with their lovely Liberty scarves done by the lovely Ruth. Hello, Ruth, miss you. Um, little Liberty mini there, clamshell thing. This is the insanely small sewing kit that I got from the Hidden Needle store in Japan. Oh my goodness, it's just absolutely... Wait a minute. It's incredible. Okay, can you see the little pin cushion in the lid? Inside we have... Oops, it easy. Oh God, right. Okay. I'll maybe do a share on Instagram. I don't want to start hauling it out with one hand at the moment. Um, but I have got pictures of it inside. Um, I use this lovely sort of um, cake thingy, tree thingy to hold pin cushions, all sorts of lovely things. I've got my tulip needles and that in the top. Um, moving on round, my best boy bud. He was the best chum anybody could ever have. He was a wee star. Love him. Uh, coming on round, oh, this is a gold work thingy that I did at um, Festival of Quilts years ago. Here is, this is the main mini bud, okay, my knitted chum that a lovely friend made for me uh, just after we said goodbye to our, our main bud. And this here, hello, this is mini mini bud, um, one of the Betty Stitches creation. We've got Lloyd the Llama round the back. Say hello, Lloyd. Then we've got Mary Mouse. She doesn't say much, but she's, you know, she's a nice young lady. Then we've got Wooly Bob. He's a bit of a dude. How does it be, feel to be so beautiful? Oh, I'm used to it. Nah. Um, pin cushion thread catchery thing there. All my calf facet books. Yes, they're in chronological order. I'm a librarian. Ha! <laughs> um... Other books down here, various bits and bobs, other books there. Sort of various random bits in here, um, sort of pin cushions, just nice pretty things. Fabulously Foxy 55. Not for much longer though. Uh, then we move on to, oh, it's getting a bit dark there. My patented height adjustable sewing table. Very high tech. Four bricks under each foot. Um, so I can stand and sew here. Underneath it, I've got my huge big box, made that, um, it was part of the silk quilt. It was a sort of trial piece to get you used to some of the techniques. Uh, Emmeline bag for random scraps in there. On top, this is my view. I love this view and I'm gonna need a lot more of it in the coming months. Irritable Owl Syndrome, yes. <laughs> Here's a little mini that I made. A little mini that I got in a Karen Lewis Blueberry Park swap. I've got my iPad on its stand. Shea Buds, ma'am. There's my wee lamp. I've got some postcards up here. I used to have a lot more, but I had a big sort of sewing room redo recently. So things have been stripped back a bit. Uh, pin cushion I got in a swap. I think Sheena made this. Love it. Uh, one of my mega pinnies here. Uh, one of my favourite quilts, Hello Moon. I made this many, many years ago and I just love it. Uh, little random doggies, campfires, etc. We then come round, to almost finished, to my cutting table, height adjustable legs from Ikea. Quite cheap and, you know, it's pretty stable. I like it. Underneath, we've got my, my rulers. I've taken my portable iron in from the car. And then there's another bag of scraps there too. What's on the cutting table just now? Well, I'm making the My Small World quilt. Um, I got a bag with various do uh, Doric words and phrases on it and I've been cutting that up uh, to incorporate into the My Small World. Uh, I'm using up scraps from a Lucy Engels uh, stash and I've got some from her very, very first uh, when she was Skinny Malinky Quilts uh, collection there as well. Uh, my small, mostly used rulers... Um, oh, this was, I did a Jenny Haynes class and I made a twig and I got Kath, I was so proud of it, I got Kath Cumbrian Longarmer to quilt it for me when she was doing another one. Finishing up now, we come round to my Hello Sun quilt. 
This is, oops, maybe I should go portrait. Um, this is one of my favourite, favourite quilts. Um, we're going to need a lot more of this in the coming months. I'm going to stop there now, ladies, because I need to go. I've got a webinar at eight with Dubai. I should do. I think this is the new normal. Anyway, take care, take safe. I may not be posting a lot on here, but I'm looking and it's kind of really keeping me in touch um, with the normal outside world. Stay safe, stay sane. Love you guys. Bye bye.